Randy Blum here from PJ Polk. Today we'll be working on the Dormacaba community software. Currently, the latest version is 2.1.0.105. We'll be working with our access management on credentials today. If we open up our access management hub, <clears throat> here we'll be able to see and build new staff and guest and vendor key profiles. If we click on credential management, we'll be able to see any keys we have already built. You can either click the plus sign or new credential. We'll give this credential a name. We'll say that this one is our third floor master key. We have different types of credential classes. If you click this, you can see the different types. Most commonly, you'll use a staff key. As always, if you hit this question mark on any page in Dormacaba community, it'll show you the help menu for exactly what you're on. I'll be picking a staff key today. Any locks with a privacy thumb turn, the staff key will not override that. I'll click next onto access point groups. If I have any access groups, I can pick them here or as my preferences, I can click next to access points. And now I can select the specific doors. Since this is a third floor master key, I will only pick the third floor units. If you're doing a building master, you can just as easily click this button and will, it will give you all units and suites in the building. If you click save, that key is now saved. But now we need to add our common doors to this key profile type. If you click on access management again and go to the bottom with this common area access, here we can add, change, or tell our different key profiles which common areas to have. This is a staff key. Any of my common area doors I can select here. So for this key, I want them to have access to the staff amenities, the staff break room, and the staff perimeter. By checking this box, they will have access to make that key. By making sure yes is checked, it will be defaulted to automatically be selected when I build the key. The last thing I need to do in the credentials tab is make sure that that key is checked. Once I have that, I will click save. Go home. And we are now ready to build. Or issue a staff key. I will make sure that the credential class matches what we just made. In this case, it's staff. I will pick a third floor master key. This is the first time I'm making it, so it is a new key. The key is set to expire in one year. If I click on next to common areas, those three we just chose are right here and they are checked. If for some reason this person, I do not want to have the amenity, I can turn that off right here. Next to key holder, that's very important. This way we can assign it to a staff member and the name shows up in the audit trail. And then now, if I click make keys, I'm ready to make my keys.